Welcome here to my fall shop with me. Our vanilla latte has been bought. So, I found this. Good morning everybody and welcome here to my fall shop with me. I'm so excited for today. I have been waiting and wanting to go out and just find a couple of things for fall. So that's what we're going to do this morning. It's almost nine o'clock. So I want to head out, get some coffee to fuel this trip and then um, head to the stores. I asked you guys yesterday on Instagram and I did kind of like a little questions where you could pick which one um and a lot of you want to see a lot of you want to see Hobby Lobby and Target those were the top two and the thrift store was kind of like right behind there so we'll do those three I'll film them for you I do also want to go into Michael's which wasn't a top contender that's fine <laughs> I love Michael's um so I'm gonna pop into Michael's just to check out a couple things and then yeah I will be filming Hobby Lobby for you guys Target and the thrift store now the thrift store is going to be a little bit trickier because of course like I can't link any of the things that I'm getting and I'm not sure if there's going to be like fall stuff but I think there's going to be awesome things to like DIY so whether that's like vases and then at Hobby Lobby we get like really pretty grass I don't know stuff like that is kind of what I was thinking for the thrift store and just to like give you guys an idea I know that it can be like expensive to buy fall decor and I still like have a budget for myself today like I don't really need a lot um, but it's fun to like spruce up your house so I understand trying to do it like on a budget so hopefully this video helps you it's not gonna be like insane crazy amounts of hauls because to me that's not realistic I think it's fun to like get new things every single year so I'll have everything that I purchased down below but I think it'll be nice for me to like pan the stores show you guys some things that I think that would really be cute for your house and stuff like that um, so hopefully it can give you some good inspiration for this fall and I'm so excited so anyway I'm wearing literally the same thing I wore a couple days ago <laughs> I love this cardigan it's so soft and cozy and yeah I just have all my Zara jeans with it and then I just put my hair in a messy bun because I was too lazy I didn't put on any makeup besides my brows and mascara because I'm going to be in a mask like for the majority of the morning and afternoon so I didn't even want to bother with it so I just put on like extra skincare to help my skin underneath my mask and yeah we're gonna head out so subscribe if you're new and follow along with me on this fun shop with me our first order of business is actually getting some coffee so I'm finally going to Dutch Bros. I've been there before, just not in Utah. We finally got them in Utah, so I'm so excited. I'm going to go now. It's a Monday morning at 9 a.m., so I already know there's going to be like a line, but I figured it's fine. Actually, it's the cutest thing. Oh, my Amazon. Is that my purple shampoo? Please be my purple shampoo. I had to get purple shampoo, you guys, because... I'm looking a little brassy. Anyway, yesterday when I was filming my clean with me, and actually you guys might be able to hear the little Venmo notification when I'm filming in the mirror, but anyway, I got a Venmo notification from one of my subscribers. Her name is Erica, and she, I'll put a little thing here because I still can't get over it. It's so sweet, but she sent me some money to get my coffee this morning, which I thought was so sweet. You guys are the sweetest ever, and I know if you follow me on Instagram, you've already heard me say this, but I just love it. I love making friends here, and I love Love seeing you guys excited about the videos and engaging with the videos so it just really meant a lot to me and it was really sweet so thank you to Erica for my morning coffee so let's get on the road our vanilla latte has been bought ready for the day okay one of the actual first um, orders of business I had some clothes oh hi I had some clothes that I needed to drop off so I'm actually waiting at Plato's closet and it's like 15 minutes which is not bad so I just figured I would do that again today just because I keep putting it off I've had those clothes for a really long time so sending them off there and then I need to change out my car air freshener so I have a bunch of these actually I have like three for I don't know each season I guess I guess I don't have spring <laughs> but this is my winter one how cute is he and then this is like my summer one and then this is my fall one so this smell is actually relatively new so I'm going to oh yeah I'm just gonna plop it into my new one and change out my really cute car air freshener I get these at 
Bath and Body Works. I love them. They make your car smell so good. I actually recently just bought one for Sebastian so he could have one. Oh, now we are ready for fall. We're headed into Target and I was most excited about this. I stopped into the dollar spot. I love checking this out whenever I go to Target and I couldn't resist myself. I had to look at the cheetah. Um, they had a lot of cute like little fake um, leaves and things. Like this is just really nice to decorate a little vase with or you could lay it like across a tablescape. Um, and they had a lot of really pretty scarves which I thought were fun and different. And again, just like a couple bucks I thought was nice. And then these plush pumpkins were exactly what I was looking for. They are so cute and like a chic way to do a pumpkin. So I ended up getting three of them. I couldn't help myself. So I got the orange, the like greenish gray, and then the white, which I thought was so cute. And then I wanted to find a little tray to put into the center of my table. And I found this one here at the dollar spot. So it was like $3 and it was exactly what I was looking for. And then I really wanted to find a table runner and I actually found this cute one here as I'm making a mess. Um, sorry, Target. I found this cute one here with these little tassels and I think it'll be perfect. And then I did stumble upon all of the fall doormats. There were just a couple that I thought were cute. Um, and then this was kind of like the main home section and they had a couple of these really pretty glass candles that have, um, it's like a pumpkin shape. Sorry, I couldn't think of the word, which I thought were cute for like 10 bucks. They had other like really pretty candles, but honestly, like for some reason, fall is the time to get Bath and Body Works, but they were really cute. And then that gathered pillow was nice. So aside from the dollar spot, which you guys saw, I was able to get like everything that I wanted for my tablescape. Um, I felt like Target was so lame. So that's a bummer. Um, I shared like all that I could. I mean, you guys saw that like one little home area and then like the mats, I kind of looked around a little bit more and there was nothing. So that's kind of disappointing. I was like kind of bummed, but anyway, now I'm excited. We're gonna head to Hobby Lobby, which I know will have way more to show you guys. So I'm excited about that, but it's a bummer that Target was so lame. Um, but I did find those plush pumpkins, which I'm so excited about. Let's head to um, Hobby Lobby and hopefully that's better. I'm not gonna do like TJ Maxx or Home Goods just because I know for a fact that those are disappointing. I've heard from so many people that they're just not as stocked as they normally are. So I'm not even gonna bother there. I think, um, yeah, we're gonna finish off at Home Goods and then hopefully I have time to head to the thrift store before heading home. Okay, Hobby Lobby was the most requested. So I was excited to bring you guys along for this. They have a ton of pumpkins in every single design. As you guys can see, the cheetah print, I guess is very big. It's not really my style, but it's there and they have a ton of buffalo check I know that that is a huge favorite in the fall a very like farmhouse style um, there's like chic glass ones you guys will see there's these really pretty pillows I really loved the like cute little blogger one I don't know I thought it was fun and then I'm not really a sign person but they have a ton of them here and everything is like 40% off oh and I thought that he was really cute <laughs> um, but yeah everything is always like 40% off and it's just like the best place to get all of your fall stuff so a couple tea towels nothing that I was like obsessed with but I thought that they were cute and then again I think the main thing with Hobby Lobby is just all of the pumpkins I really love these like pumpkin trees or like little branches I think were pretty and then like I said just so many different types of pumpkins that I think will match like any home style
Some of my favorite things are the boxes of pine cones and pumpkins. It just makes it easy for a cute little decorative set. And there were a ton of like craft items. You could like paint these pumpkins with your kids or niece or something. I thought that that was cute. They had a ton of wreaths and I don't know. I just wanted to highlight all of the ribbon. I just think it's really sweet and really cute. And if you have like an October birthday or something like that, it would be fun to pick up. And then these were really cool as well. They're just kind of like loose pumpkins and little branches again, um, little clusters that you could really put anywhere into vases and just kind of spruce up and fall up that corner of your house. So these little pumpkins here are actually some that I picked up a while ago and they're still there and they're still really cute. Again, just a couple little pumpkins. I will say that if you need any fall or Halloween um, decor items, go now because they had a ton of Christmas things out, which was crazy. And so things are, you know, going out so that Christmas can come in. And so I'd say go now, get your last fall items and pumpkins because yeah, it'll be Christmas before we know it and the stores are already on it. I wanted to highlight this like tin section because I see a lot of this in the farmhouse style decor and people use it as like a little coffee tray and they had a ton of it. So if you want like any of that or the buffalo check again is really huge here at Hobby Lobby. So whatever your style is, I think that you will find the perfect thing for you. And it goes without saying that they have a ton of great faux flowers and leaves and just all of that to kind of create your own fall bouquet, which I think is really nice and an easy way to decorate. I love the purple eucalyptus in the fall. Um, and so just a couple of things that make it a little bit easier and you get way more bang for your buck when you buy something that's fake and that's not gonna die on you. We're off to TJ Maxx. I wanted to do a quick stop just to see if they had any tea towels and I love when I see all of the themed coffee and seasonal coffee and stuff like that. It's just really sweet. I looked at the mugs. There were a couple Halloween ones, but really nothing that I was like in love with. I feel like they're kind of slacking on their mug collection uh, during all of this COVID, but that's okay. There's bigger problems. Like I said, I tried to look for a cute dish towel, but there really wasn't anything that caught my eye. So I just figured I would kind of glance at them and then take a look at some of the decor items they had. They had a few pumpkins lying around, which were fun. And then I wanted to finish off at the candles, which is one of my favorite places to look when I'm at TJ Maxx. And this toasted marshmallow looked great as well as the cozy woods I thought was cute. And there's just so many candles, so many. We're finishing off this shop with me at Savers. I had to do a thrift store for you guys. And I saw these like wood pieces, which I thought were cute. And also this little watering can, which I've seen people put pompous grass and stuff like that, which I thought were cu was cute. And then I did want to highlight this section of the thrift store. This part can be like a little bit messy and overwhelming, but there's always amazing faux flowers and leaves in there. You just kind of have to look around and really move things about, but it's like kind of the same things that, that I saw at Target and at Hobby Lobby. So I'm encouraging you guys to check this spot out, do a little bit of digging. I promise it's worth it.
And then the baskets are another one of my favorite places. This one was so cute and so interesting. I loved the handles. I thought with like a couple pumpkins and candles in it would be so cute, but I kind of let it go. I had to. I didn't need any more baskets, but I love looking at the baskets and this like fancy candle. I don't know what they're called, but when you put the candle inside, you guys know what I'm talking about? They're like fancy. Anyway, the vases are a hot place right now because everyone is turning them into the terracotta vases. That's like a nice DIY, so I wanted to show that. Okay, I'm home now from the store and apologies if you can hear our little HOA people <laughs> doing the yard work. They always seem to do that when me and Sebastian wanna film something or record or something like that. And so, sorry about that. But I wanted to share kind of my thoughts of every single store and show you what I picked up. So hopefully I shared a good amount of the store. And to be honest, I feel like my biggest takeaway was Target is just like not it right now. Like I said in the car, they had nothing besides like their dollar section, which if you are going to buy something, I feel like especially something that's seasonal, it's fun to get it for like cheaper. So that was exciting um, and like good news. But other than that, I feel like it's not worth it to buy fall decor at places like Target or something like that because Hobby Lobby and Michaels, they always have such great discounts um, like all of the time. So I feel like I would rather spend my money there and they just have so many other options. I mean, like you guys could see, there was a ton of little pumpkins all over the place at Hobby Lobby. Um, there's a ton of all of those flake <laughs> that's a tongue twister fake flowers and leaves and stuff like that that are so easy to decorate your home with so i honestly yeah i was really disappointed by target i feel like it's just not worth it i would rather go to hobby lobby or michael's and then i did stop into tj maxx because i thought that maybe they would have tea towels and they didn't and tj maxx i showed a little bit for you guys but honestly like you could see there really just wasn't anything and i always get the cutest mugs from there and they didn't have like any which is such a bummer i just feel like because of covid we've all kind of been a little cheated um throughout this fall like season and like their stock and stuff it just wasn't the same so i was a little bummed out about that and then the thrift store i showed a couple things the main reason i wanted to go was just to kind of look at the vases and see if there were any that i liked the shape of to um paint over like i did with i'll show you i did it with this one here this used to be like a bright pink and i made it like this really pretty pale cream color um and that like terracotta texture i guess you just take um any kind of acrylic paint and add a little bit of baking the baking soda or powder i always get those confused i'm pretty sure it's baking powder no baking soda i'm pretty sure it's baking soda the one that goes in your fridge do that one um and then it gives it like this really pretty terracotta pot texture and so yeah i kind of wanted to look for a vase um, but I didn't find any, but I shared a lot with you guys. So I encourage you if you're needing like a new vase for any of the fake flowers or anything like that, the thrift store is the place to go because you could so easily like just paint over them and make them your own. Those are kind of all of my thoughts um, with the trip. I don't know. It was fun to share with you guys. Now we can get into what I got. So like I mentioned, I stopped into Michael's first and I didn't film anything in there because that was like the one that the least amount of people wanted to see. And so I was like, I still want to go in because I do love their discounts. Um, but now I'm wishing I would have filmed because Target didn't have anything. And so that felt like a waste. But anyway, I walked in and I've been wanting to get some sort of like fall pillow for our couch, um, either like a blanket or a pillow. I don't know. I just feel like it's so cute and adds just like the sweetest touch. So. I found this and I will say everything that I got was 40% off. So it's just amazing. So I got this pillow. It's really thin and long and it says let's cuddle with the two leaves. And I think it is so cute. I think it's gonna look so sweet like in the middle of our couch. So picked this up. It was originally 29, but pretty sure I kept my receipt. Let's see, but I got it for 17.99. So not bad and I just think it is so cute and pretty and it's pretty like neutral so regardless of if my style changes it will always go and I just love the like traditional neutral colors for fall I'm not one on like the buffalo check or anything like that it is really cute but it's just not like my style and I feel like more of the neutrals and like creams can last a little bit longer rather than like a trendy print um so that's just kind of like I don't know my advice but I really love that. And then they had so many amazing like fake 
leaves <laughs> and flowers and all of these were um 40 percent off as well so i got them for like it's so hard to read what it is i don't know what their specific names are but like nine dollars so i got a thing of eucalyptus i have a little bit of eucalyptus around the house but it's already being used so i just got one little thing of it which i think is really pretty and all of these are going to go together in a vase that i got and then i loved this orange one it's just like so pretty so i thought that those were cute together and then i wanted to get just one more so i got the this um white one i don't know how to explain these but the vase that um i got and where i'm gonna put it is going to be like facing a wall so i got this to like pan around the front which i'll show you and then these are gonna sit in this new vase oh my god this is so cute it has like a little g on it for garcia and then i just love this little detail it is a little more like farmhouse style which isn't like exactly our style um but i felt like it was like i don't know just so fall and so cute so i'm gonna have to like zhuzh them around um but i got that to go oh my god to go in uh this vase and then i think like with a candle would be so pretty or a little pumpkin next to it uh so yeah that's what i got from michael's and it was so cute and then i got this little like coil of um garland i didn't find anything like big enough to go on our tv console I have a really pretty one for winter but i wanted something for fall and i really couldn't find anything so i figured i could get this little one and then just like kind of add pumpkins maybe little candles i don't know um but i thought that that was cute and it was a really pretty color so that is all that i got from michael's and then i didn't get anything from hobby lobby just because they had a ton of pumpkins and i already had um purchased pumpkins from there before and I have a lot of pumpkins to decorate with so I didn't need anything from there but I did get these on um one of my last trips to Hobby Lobby so it was just a little bundle if you guys watched my recent purchase video um that I did I think in August like the end of August you guys would have seen these but I got those and then I just got these really pretty like wicker style pumpkins which are fun to style and decorate with and then at target i got everything for our table which i think will be cute i'm not exactly sure if all of it's going to go together but i got i really wanted to find something to like hold little pumpkins in and maybe like some eucalyptus or something i don't know i really love that look so i found this little tray it was only three dollars everything that i found was in the dollar spot or like the three dollar spot so i think that that will be really pretty on our table i went for the darker one just because our table is a little bit dark i feel like it looks better than the light dark um or the light <laughs> the light wood and then i got this table runner which i just think will be so pretty just a nice neutral runner so you could use it like throughout the year which is nice and it was five dollars so i think that that paired really nicely and then i got the plush pumpkins like you guys have seen so i got a white one and i'm really excited for this little green and then i got a traditional orange so that is what i got and yeah that's kind of all that i picked up and kind of needed i am bummed about the tea towels and the thing for our um tv console but like i said i'm gonna like use all what i have and spruce it up there so hopefully you guys enjoyed coming along with me to these stores let me know what you thought down below in the comments and i will see you guys tomorrow for the decorate with me bye